this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Right then, haha, <laughs> the pea shooter. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited about doing this video. The pea shooter is like, so if I think of Plants vs. Zombies, okay, what comes to my head is this guy. This guy is... So he's just the most likable thing in the world. He's just cool. He's just awesome anyway. Yeah, he shoots peas and he just looks awesome. And he's like, he's like the main one. He's like the leader of the plants. Like not officially, but in my head. And he's also ridiculously powerful. He's got chili bean moms. He's got the pea gatling where he can go like that. And he can also get hyper and do this. And then just charge around and jump. He's unbelievable. And it's just normal like pea cannon is just really powerful as well. So yeah, I am I'm looking forward to this video. Let let's say that. I don't know how good I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have fun all the same. So I actually prefer the commando P, personally. But uh like this whole time I've been doing just the the normal one. And as you can see, I've actually never played as like the normal pea shooter in this game. Like, I played it in the original, but like, if you look, like, you see it says, like, level, like, there's no progress. I've never played as him, so, uh, this is, this is my chance. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> but first, uh, let's go and do some dress-up, shall we? So there's a crown. Oh, there's a snake I can have on the head. That's quite cute. Uh, anime hair. Uh, chi, I can have a, <laughs> I can have a mounts balancing cheese. I can have a groovy snake, and that's it. So... I think that's an obvious decision. I'm gonna, oh, I'm just gonna be laughing the entire episode at that. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I'm running around. I can look like I'm dead. Uh, cash blinders, prehist- Oh no, that takes the, the thingy off. What about the goo googly eyes? There we go, I got a mouse and googly eyes. Um, I think I'm gonna have to, I like the normal ones. I like being able to see the peas and I don't have any tattoos. So there we go, this is, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna look like in today's episode. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever seen anything as amazing as that? I'm sure you haven't. Right then, uh, let's go. And then let's jump into a jump into a game then. So so what shall I play? Uh what, what what I mean what's he best at? Like he's good at everything. Like he's just he's just like strong. He's just good at taking out other players. So um let's just let's just do Vanquish. Let's just do Team Vanquish because that's just like take out the other players. That's literally all there is to it. So I think it would also be good at um Vanquish confirmed because you know when you get hyper You'd be really good at like charging in, like picking up their orb and like getting out of there or jumping out of harm's way. But I don't like that game mode as much as the uh, the normal one. So I'm just gonna play the normal one just because I enjoy it a little bit more. And so as I said, like you can, if if in doubt, if you're playing as the plant team and you're not sure who to be, who's the best in that situation, or if you're like switching between classes and not doing well, if in doubt, go and play as the pea shooter. Like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong being the, the pea shooter unless it doesn't let you join the plants team and then you're going to be stuck as old uh, Captain Deadbeard again. Oh, come on, let me switch teams. Please, come on, please. So hopefully as like someone else joins the game, I'll be able to, to switch. So sorry, I know this is annoying. I'm just going to keep doing switch teams and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to have to exit and try and join another game. I'm going to have three more attempts. One, two, three. Right, forget it. Okay, let's back out. So yeah, the sad thing is like with this game is like, like, if you have, a, like, a favorite class, and it's on one, like, it's either plants or zombies, like, you know, you're not always going to be able to, to be that class, because you don't know what team you're going to be on. So, that's only the, like, the one annoying thing, but, then again, like, there's there's loads of good variety. Because, it's it's interesting, because in most games like this, everyone's kind of the same, or not, not, not that they're exactly the same, but everyone could be the same. So, say if you have, like, a custom class, you could choose to be whatever you want, and so it's a little bit random, like on what like team you're on. It's kind of nice that the the plants are so different from the the zombies. It kind of makes like each game interesting uh, as you kind of switch around between the the different ones. I don't know what I prefer. There's there's ones I really like from the plant side, and there's ones I really like from the zombie side. So I never mind being either side. It's not. It's not a case of, oh, I find that I'm the plants. I'm like, oh, I want to be the zombies. I I'm, I'm really happy uh, being either side. And there we go. This is it. Are you ready for this? Who's ready for this? Who is ready for the pea shooter? You're in trouble now, everyone. Right, what's going on then? What's the what's the score? Okay, we're winning. We're winning, which is good. This guy doesn't seem to be doing very much. Let's go and uh, give him a little wave. Come on, snap into it, man. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, let's go and push in. So so this main weapon. So it's really powerful, but it's very difficult at range. As you can see, you've got to kind of lead your shots, and I, by that, I mean you need to you need to shoot ahead of what you want to hit, basically. So uh, the best thing to do is, if you're going to be in an area for a while, is to to kind of stay back and uh, use the uh, the P Gatling. 
uh, to do damage that way. Because uh, this is kind of more like a like a standard machine gun, uh, I guess. And so it's much better at range. But uh, to use the uh, uh, the uh, the P... Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. So this is a good chance to... Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, lift it up. Okay. Bad, bad first life. Oh, can I escape? No, I can't. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, so you kind of want to either get in close or get really good because if you get really good at that main P cannon uh, Even though you only can shoot it ten times and it's quite difficult if you get really good at timing it You can destroy so I used to be okay I used to be pretty decent, but I've not played as the uh, as the the P shooter for for literally over a year so, you know, I'm not going to be that good yet. I kind of just wanted to, to go in fresh so you could see my excitement about playing <laughs> this character again. So I'm not going to be that good at it now. Hopefully by the, the end of the episode, I'll be better uh, at it. Uh, so yeah, let's see if I can just, let's just try and just charge in, use my main weapon, and let's just see uh, how much damage I can do. Because I'm not sure if I've actually hit anything yet. It's been a, it's been a little bit of a chaotic game. And whenever I join mid-game, I kind of... I kind of don't really know what's going on very well. I'm kind of a little bit like disorientated uh, and I don't really know what's happening. So that, that was a good case of that. So I kind of joined in. We were winning. I didn't know where the enemy team were coming from. And I hate this level. This is, this is the worst level in the game. Like, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you like it or not. It's the worst level in the game. I'm, I'm telling that now. Ah, all those teleporters and that rubbish. No, don't like it. Don't care if it's. So let's, let's ignore that. Let's pretend that never happened. Look, I got zero vouchers. I got 25 score. See me down there at the bottom of the, the scoreboard? Well, while we're waiting, let's go and uh, open up a, a sticker pack, shall we? Oh, I can get one of the big ones. Should I get one of the big ones? These ones are always uh, exciting to, to get. I've been playing uh, a little bit like in between videos uh, to unlock some uh, more of the, the coins to get some more things. So uh, I got the, the hockey star. Uh, what does he do? He's a, uh, uh, yeah, another one for the... Um, kind of the American football player by the looks of things. So uh, yeah, when we get round to him, uh, we can maybe have a, a little bit of a, a look of that. So uh, what I think I'll do is I'll do one round of this, and then I might try a different game type because because of the uh, the pea shooter's hyper mode and the ability to run so fast, the pea shooter is really good at at like suburbanation and things because you can get to points really quickly. So objective game modes where you need to get to places fast is kind of probably where the, uh, the pea shooter is best, uh, I guess. But can like attack and defend game modes he's probably not the best because he doesn't have the most health i think it's like 125 health uh, the pea shooter has and so if you're trying to get into a point you're going to get taken out pretty quickly because you don't have the the most health so probably like vanquish and suburbanation uh probably the the best two modes so we'll have one more round uh, of this uh hopefully do it a little bit better uh, than the the last round uh, yeah then we're going to switch things around and play suburbanation so if i if i was advising you on how to play the game well, I would say don't have this mouse on the head because as hilarious as it looks seeing the cheese, it blocks your view. So if you really want to do the best you can, like don't customize your character at all and then you can kind of see everything better because it's actually blocking quite a lot of my uh, my view as I'm walking around. But if you do do that, then that means you're boring because if you have these options to like customize in crazy ways, it's so hard to, to not go and do them. So, all right, let's try and get some strategies then. So let's go and get hyper and then we can go and jump up here and let's just go and try and set down our Gatling gun here uh, when we have a little bit of, a, of cover. So yeah, if anyone comes up the either stairs, I can deal a load of damage against them there. Now, I did get spotted pretty quick there. So I want to kind of uh, move around a little bit. And so this is a good chance to do a flank. So I'm kind of shooting people uh, when they can't see me. I'm going to drop a chili bean bomb kind of as an escape plan so if they try and chase me hopefully that will get them i think i'm probably going to go down now though let's hope he doesn't chase me oh he's chasing me there's nothing i can do nope i got taken out i was able to hit him a little bit more then so yeah, i was a little bit too aggressive then there uh, so this is um this is vanquish so every every time i get vanquished like that's bad you know some modes it doesn't matter so much uh, but this one it does so i do need to, to try and uh, stay alive a little bit better uh, but the pea shooter is quite an aggressive player it's kind of hard to stay back too much as the the pea shooter as i mentioned before just because uh, his weapon hasn't got the the best range and they're really flanking up, 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 uh, up bleh, flanking up on us here so i tried to throw a chili bean bomb because uh, i assumed they were going to go up the stairs and so the reason why that was a good place to to throw the chili bean bomb is because they couldn't see it because it was kind of above the stairs they weren't able to to see it and uh, another reason why the pea shooter would be good in a uh, suburban nation uh, is because um if everyone's charging into a, a point, uh, then basically you can throw the chili bean bomb uh, down and do loads of, uh, of damage that way. So there we go. I think that was my my first vanquish I was able to, to get. So after all of my my hype building up on this character, and look at that. So you can see all of those crosses. That means like pretty much my whole team was taken out then. And really, I've got another person not playing. 
The lone ginger is, is living up to their name and staying lonely at the back of the, the game. There we go. They've, they've snapped to it. Ah! So yeah, because I saw all of those crosses, I wanted to back off because I didn't want to get caught out uh, without any of my uh, my teammates uh, to, to help me out. And so that's why I decided just to, to run off, uh, just to kind of like wait for some of my team to, to spawn. But as you can see, because I don't have the, um, the most health, I get taken out pretty quickly, so I deal a lot of damage, but I can't take a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, I gotta really make sure that I'm kind of staying in cover well and uh, and making sure that I'm hitting my shots. I want to make sure I'm being as accurate as I can. So there is a good time to, to fight. No, oh, I got taken out so quick. I thought I was gonna have time to back off. Right then. I was really thinking that this was going to be a case of let me show you how powerful the pea shooter is, but really I've been uh, I've been getting destroyed here. I guess uh, I guess we need a change of strategy here. So so what can I do? I think maybe flanking. I think flanking might be a good thing to to do because I've got my my hyper mode. I could try and get behind them and shoot them and then duck down uh, before they uh, before they shoot me. So let's try and get around the uh, the back here of some of the players. So I don't want to shoot that guy yet because I don't want him to I don't want him to see me yet. I want to try and flank all the way around the back here. No, oh, I think I was spotted. I think I was spotted by um by someone. Oh, this little imp knows I'm here. The imps are pretty easy to, to take out, though. I can go and do that. Uh, this guy's probably going to take me. Can the chili bean bomb get him? Oh, no, don't move, don't move. Oh, I did a bit of damage. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't hear the 100% damage. I tried, then I tried. So uh, that was just kind of me being very aggressive. I'm pushing into their their base. And we are getting destroyed here, actually. I think, I, I think this might be just a case of, like, the entire enemy team just, just outskilling us. I think that what it might... Like, I, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses because I kind of am a little bit but like if the whole enemy team is just doing better than your team kind of no matter how good you play it's going to be very difficult uh, for you to, to be able to, to do anything because if they're just like working together as a team better and just like you know taking you out as very little you can do there so that wasn't great. I'll be honest, that wasn't much of a masterclass in how to play as the pea shooter. So I'm going to switch things around. I'm not going to be stubborn. I'm not going to keep doing the same thing I was going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to, to Suburbanation because the more I spoke about it and the uh, the more I uh, I thought about it during that game, uh, the more I thought uh, that it is probably a good idea uh, to play that game. Oh, look at that. Three vanquishes. Three. I might as well not even showed up in that game. I don't think I helped out my team whatsoever. And to be fair, the whole team didn't be uh, do very well. And it looked like at points... Some of them weren't even playing so the odds were against us from the the beginning but i can and will do better so hopefully uh, i can make up for it uh, in the the next game and i think what it is is i'm used to being the the gatling p because as soon as i unlocked the uh, the gatling p that's kind of like that's kind of all i played really like i kind of just stuck uh, to using that and uh, i really didn't play as the uh, the normal pea shooter uh, uh, since then and so i think i'm kind of used to to using the strategy i use for the the gatling p because i really never went back uh, to using the uh, the normal pea shooter uh, after that and so uh, yeah i think that's why i've been struggling a little bit and oh no time park this is officially the worst map in the game why are we playing it <laughs> oh dear right then let's 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 talk about the abilities a little bit more so there's the chili bean bob uh, which is best against big groups of enemies capturing points it's quite hard to be um to be accurate and if you uh if the enemy sees you uh throwing it down uh, then there's a good chance they're going to dodge out of the way because it takes a little while uh, for it to, to get destroyed uh hyper mode is really good for situations like this so say i'm trying to get to a point quickly i can just get there uh, way quicker uh, than i would do before and i don't want to let that guy see me because they're going to do some damage so here we go this is a good chance i'm quite close up they did the charge on me there are they backing off no oh, they're right here all right let's just try and use the chili bean bob i got confused i didn't know where they went to they charged right through me so yeah hyper is good for for trying to get to points quickly also good for trying to escape and also good just for like jumping up high if you need to like jump up on top of like something like this it's just really good uh, for getting up there it doesn't last very long so you really want to make the the most of it and so this is a good time for the chili bean bomb if i just throw it in there there's a good chance that even if i don't take someone out then i'm going to do some damage but luckily i was actually uh, able to, to take someone out so now i want to stay back for a bit and i want to go and use the old gatling and try and do some damage this way so i was able to take out one guy i should hopefully be able to take out this guy as well and uh, what you really want to do is a uh, focus on uh, on people uh, that are trying to shoot you so if you see someone like attack 
attacking you, make sure you uh, you shoot them first and uh, aim for the, the head. So I nearly uh, was able to get that imp as well. And if I did, uh, that would have been a, a nice three point. But things are looking bad now. Uh, looks like they've got suburbanation. So uh, let's go. Let's go for A. Let's try and uh, go for a point uh, that other people aren't going for. Because like if I get there before like the other team notice, I might be able to capture it. Because we are losing this game. Like I'm not going to blame myself uh, because I joined halfway through the game. But that soldier wasn't paying attention. And you can see if they're standing still or I'm close, the damage I can deal is crazy. Like I just destroyed that soldier. And I know they were standing still and not shooting back. But it just shows you if you are accurate or like they're not paying attention or like so say if you come up behind someone who's just like shooting long range you can deal amazing damage but I do think uh, that we have lost this game so this is okay like I never count games that you join halfway through because like I don't feel like I I was able to do enough of an impact that game so that was very promising though I was able to do much better that game I think I did better that game than the entire vanquish game that I played before it uh, so hopefully Going into the next round and on a, on a better map, I'll be able to, to do better because the problem with that map is there's like a few places where loads of people go and uh, you can also kind of just sit watching the teleporter exits. So if you kind of like, if you get set up as the uh, the pirate or someone and just like get your cannon up and just like focus on it or just like using the um the cactus to leave the potato mines over them you can really just control those areas and I think it's just quite a frustrating way to battle when like you're kind of... You kind of just appear in the battlefield by going through the teleport and you kind of have no idea what you're walking into. So you can sometimes be taken out really quickly and like you don't really know what's going on. And I just don't like it. Some people might enjoy that. Uh, but to be honest, uh, I just don't think it. I just don't think it's fun uh, compared to some of the, uh, I think, the more interesting levels, uh, which have kind of multi levels and all of like these flanking route and things. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to find uh, a level uh, which I enjoy. Well, this one's all right. So this is a bit of a weird one. Uh, this one kind of stands out. Uh, it's got a lot of the uh, the choke points. Uh, again, uh, like uh, like I mentioned, where um, there's like the, the doorways uh, to get into the main Colosseum. Uh, you often find big groups of enemies. And so using the uh, the chili bean bomb will be good there. This once again isn't one of my favorite levels, though. It's interesting. It's an interesting level. So I don't mind it as much as the uh, that time zone warp one or whatever it's called. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's see how well this goes as the, uh, the pea shooter because it's very open like the main middle bit is really really open and as I mentioned the pea shooter isn't the best at range he isn't the worst uh, but he isn't the best at range uh, so I'm thinking that he probably isn't the uh, the best character for this map uh, but for suburbanation uh, he's going to be great because you can see I can go and charge uh, straight to A I don't want to charge straight to B because there's going to be so many people charging down there and I don't have like the, the best defense uh, I'd probably go and uh, get taken out really quickly so let's just go to, to A and uh, just make sure we can capture this as quick as we can then I'm going to go up through that doorway there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to, to try and shoot some uh, some fire down on B. And as you can see, they got there first. They're, uh, they're already capturing it. Uh, so I want to try and get down there as fast as I can. And uh, try and just throw a, a chili bean bomb in there. Uh, to try and deal as much damage as I can. So you can see I kind of ignored those other players. Uh, just so I could get down here. And to try and get that chili bean bomb done. Uh, I was getting shot from uh, at range there. Uh, so this is a good chance to try and back off for a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to watch that doorway. Because that's where they're, they're really coming from. So I can go to stay here and watch that doorway and uh, as they push in I can hopefully uh, try and do a lot of damage uh, before they're able to, to shoot back uh, at me so uh, the way the P Gatling gun works is you have like a certain amount of, uh, of ammo and then once it runs out you're kind of just jumped straight out of it and so you can see I did some amazing damage sadly uh, there were there was another guy who was able to finish me off but if he didn't show up immediately and I was able to, to jump up I'd have been able to do quite well and it looks like there's uh, there's no one to help me out oh no They've captured all of them? In that period, they were able to capture all of them? Right, we got we got our work cut out once again here. I can see there's a scientist up here. So let's go and try and uh, and try and push in. Uh, if I just throw this down there, it's kind of a, as a defensive uh, chili bean bomb. It uh, looks like we've uh, got this one pretty nicely captured anyway. But they're pushing in. It's only an imp, though, and the imps aren't too strong. I uh, see so I was able to, to take him out pretty well. And I don't want to spend too much time here. we really got to go and get B. B's like the uh, the best point to control in this, uh, in this map uh, because it's the hardest to capture so if you've got it captured it's going to be very difficult uh, for the uh, the other team uh, to capture it as well so that was a nice little mini streak here I've been able to, to take out a few of them and I can keep pushing up uh, and we got A and C but we really oh no this isn't good I'm dead I'm dead <laughs> that was just a bit of bad luck there they uh, happened to, to come out uh, while I was still walking around there's lots of scientists they're using I'm noticing which is strange because the scientist has a, a close range weapon 
And so you wouldn't think it would be the uh, the best class to be on this map, but it seems to be it seems to be working okay for them, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so what's going on here? So they're getting B. They've also got A as well. So let's go and push into to B and uh, see if we can help us capture that. See if we can have it so we have C and uh, and B. I think that's going to be uh, two good points to to capture. So I might set up the Gatling gun here because I can see they've got the uh, the imp in one of the the mechs, and so it's going to be difficult for our team to to take them out. So let's just kind of rain down some fire at range. I don't really have much cover here, so if I get spotted. Uh, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. So let's just go and uh, back off for uh, a little bit and uh, try and get my health up. Oh, I'm getting shot. Where's, where am I getting shot from? Is that a... Oh, there's another pirate up there. These pirates are driving me crazy. Viva Ruby was able to, to vanquish me. <laughs> Once again, though, I think uh, I think I dealt more damage than, uh, than got done on me. So I think overall that wasn't too bad of a life. But I really uh, need to help the team uh, push in to get that B point. Like, I can't do it by myself. Like, if I run in by myself, I'm just going to go in there and die. And I won't be helping the team. I need to time it for when I can see that the rest of my team are pushing in as well. And there's something else I haven't really mentioned is, um is pacing your shots a little bit. Uh, as you saw, I was kind of spamming a little bit and I was really uh, struggling to get any good aim. But if you kind of pace your shots, uh, you're able to get much better aim. So even though I'm long range here, because I'm pacing my shots and uh, they're not doing a very good job moving, uh, I was able to, to do some decent damage there. And uh, I know that they've, they've put gas down here, so I know they're close by. I also just saw a, a shadow of a parrot there. So I'm going to watch out for the, the parrot. I'm going to take them out uh, if, uh, if I can. Uh, so yeah, I know they're going to be coming around here. So I'm like good to, to set up my Gatling gun. Like you don't ever want to be setting up your, your Gatling gun. Like when there's someone... um nearby to you uh, because like by the time you've got it set up you're probably going to be taken out already so you want to kind of already be set there with your gatling gun out uh, before they come around the corner i was able to do some great damage there that person saw me though and did set me uh, on fire so i'm going to back off just uh, a little bit here and uh, get around this corner because uh, i think they might be uh, trying to push on me so while i'm in hyper mode uh, i should be uh, uh, pretty safe if they push up because uh, all i can do is just go and back around uh, the corner like this but oh no during this time, they have captured all of the points again. This is unbelievable. I just think we are the whole team being just completely outmatched in this in this round, to be honest. I think, once again, uh, the whole team is doing better. So, you know, you can affect the win. You can do as good as you can. But if, like, the if the whole team uh, isn't doing well, uh, then, you know, there's really not very uh, uh, very much you can do. So I'm not giving up. Uh, I never give up. Let's go and throw a chili bean bomb down there if we can. Uh, and, oh, no, they pushed up over the rock. That was difficult. So you can see the, way, the reason they're doing successful is you see them really pushing together as a team. Like, if that was one person, I might have been able to take them out and save the point, but they had reinforcements. They're really waiting and working together. So I don't know whether they're, they're communicating with each other or they just... Um kind of happen to be working as a team uh, but that I think is really uh, the things that's giving them the uh, the most success and uh, our team aren't really doing that so I keep kind of waiting to try and find points uh, when my my team are there but look at them look how look how they're all grouped together look how much more difficult it is to to take them out than if they were by themselves this is though a perfect time to get the old gatling gun out and uh, try and lay down as much damage as I can so even though it would have been nice to carry on with the the gatling gun there I was just simply way too weak and uh, I needed uh, to to back off uh, a little bit more and uh now though I do have my I do have my team pushing in so we should hopefully uh, at least be able to, to get this point here and uh, let's try and just keep uh, uh, raining down some uh, some cover fire oh I didn't even see that guy that guy pushed right past all of us and was able to, to take us out so in this situation because I see so many of the players battling over that one point I'm gonna go to a different point I'm gonna go down to B see as there's so many people fighting over at A the best thing to do is actually no, I'm gonna go for C because look they're trying to capture that again they're gonna capture all of the the points again I'll oh, stop talking about your soul I need to see what points they've captured. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and push in here. No, no, I'm going to die here. But let's uh, let's try and at least deal a, a nice bit of damage uh, against this mech and this uh, uh, this football player. So uh, the mech is going to destroy me here. Uh, but if I kind of just do as much damage as I can, uh, I'll, I'll be able to, to help out uh, the rest of my team. And actually, it didn't deal too much damage against me here. So I want to keep pushing in here. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. But there's no point uh, giving up yet. And uh, let's see if we can at least go and uh, try and capture uh, this point back. So you can see here... And because there's no enemy players here, uh, assuming they don't show up now, I can kind of capture this point uncontested. So there was that huge fight going on at A, and like, you know, we captured it, but they're going to capture it back, and that fight's still going on. But it's much easier to kind of ignore that fight, go for a flank, and uh, try and capture something like this easier, because now they're going to have to send down some zombies to come down this way to try and capture that point. And so not only are we getting points, we're also kind of distracting them and meaning that they need to go uh, somewhere, somewhere else. So sadly, once again, it's another loss. So I think overall, 
It's been a bit of a disappointing video, especially as I was so excited <laughs> at the, the beginning. But I think I think I kind of showed you quite well how to play the the pea shooter, and I think I definitely did uh, much better that round when I kind of played my uh, when I changed my strategy uh, compared to the uh, the first couple rounds. So hopefully this helped you a little bit. I think, oh look at that, top of the scoreboard, there we go, so you can't say fairer than that, I definitely tried my very best, it wasn't enough, but I definitely did try my best, but sadly, I think we were simply outclassed by the other team, so yeah, hopefully this helped you in some way, uh, a little bit, uh, in terms of how to, to play as the uh, the pea shooter, uh, if you've been playing as the, the pea shooter more than I have, and if you do have any advice, uh, as always, leave that as a comment down below, just to help me and uh, anyone else out, but I think, I think I played pretty decent in that last game, uh, but sadly, uh, it just wasn't enough, so I think the biggest advice, uh, that I could give to myself after that is to bring in reinforcements. It's always best uh, if you have any friends playing the uh, the game uh, to kind of play with them and uh, kind of work together and uh, make sure you're pushing uh, as a team. Like if I was this pea shooter with a sunflower healing me, then you'd be talking. Then you'd see some some real damage. So <laughs> I guess the best advice for me is to try and get some friends to, to play this with or make friends. Just make friends playing the game. Uh, loads of people uh, speak in the chat in this game. So you can either just chat to them and try and work with them or make friends with them and then team up with them and uh, play with them in, uh, in future rounds. So there we go. Uh, that's the... Um and that's the pea shooter. Let me go and have a, a little quick check and uh, see uh, who's coming uh, up next. So I always switch uh, between playing as the uh, the zombies and the uh, the plants. And so in the the last time as the the zombies, I played as the uh, the pirate uh, Captain Deadbeard. And who's coming up next? I know it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the the original zombies, but who is it? It's aha! It's the foot soldier. So this is basically like. This is basically like the the zombie equivalent of the the pea shooter, and this gun is a lot more like the uh, the pea shooter Gatling gun. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to do even better in the next video, but we'll see, we'll see. So there'll be a link in the other uh, description to that uh, once it's online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.